Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ava and today we are unleashing our beauty and exploring our style with the new Lisa Eldridge foundation and some of her lip products that she just dropped. I've never used Lisa Eldridge products before so you're going to hear my first impressions and I'm going to show you everything I got if you want to well no just keep watching not only keep watching hit the subscribe button and ring the bell because we are going to be sharing so much style inspiration with each other you're in my bathroom right now i mean once you're in my bathroom we're girls okay we're we're people stick around and get comfortable like i always say you're never too young or too old to unleash your beauty and explore your style that's just what we're going to be doing today. Two, three. This came in the mail today. Boom. Did it focus? I don't know. Lisa Eldridge. So, I have never used Lisa Eldridge products before, but I'm so excited to try it because I've heard so much. I'm talking to the people. I can see mommy. The foundation samples. This one is the light medium. It comes in 09, 10, 11, 12. I think this one looks number nine. Looks like it might be the best match. Mm, it feels very lightweight. Feels very lightweight. I have so much redness and stuff in my face and dark circles under my eyes. But this is like almost looking a little bit too light. But at the same time, it's looking good. Let me see. I was gonna use this brush, but okay, the camera's in the way of my mirror. I like the way it goes into the skin. I mean I have huge pores, stretched pores, acne scars, textured skin, all that stuff. But this is looking really natural. So, okay, let me try. So that was, I, I did the finger on this side. Let me try the brush. Over here, this is just a Luxie 732 airbrush foundation. I mean, as you can see through the window, the sun is like going down. I've already had a long day. So, now it's just me playing. Oh yeah, this is coming out looking light in the camera. I need a better mirror. I have dark eyelids anyway, but then my, um, dang, I've already used most of this little sample. I've already used most of it. Let me just take the top all the way off. Um, I saw Glam Girl Chelsea use or test some of hers and she was like, oh, I have some left. I'll save it for next time. But not me. Dang, I went in on this. If I want to try it next time, I'm going to have to try a different color. But... I mean, I do, 
I do like the way it's looking. Okay. I love the way it feels. Okay, so it's like not matte. Not all the way matte, but it is a little. I think next time I really I really will try the darker color. Um but I like the finish. It's not matte, but it's not all the way dewy. I don't know how it's coming off on camera, but in person, it looks actually really natural and really nice. So I'm looking in the mirror. It's kind of like a semi-matte, I would say. It still is very skin-like. Um, it doesn't seem to be settling. And I say semi-matte because I can still see a little bit of my life shining through. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the rest of my face on. And every time I say face, I think of Kelly. And I want to say face if you watch keep beauty real if not you should I'm just gonna set with my Gucci powder in matte natural I have I would say I have combination skin so no matter what I do, I always, I always use powder. Um, because I also have so much texture. <sighs> I think it just helps. I watched a video, who was it? Painted by Spencer. He did this girl's face she had a lot of texture on her cheeks and stuff he did liquid foundation then he set with powder then he did a powder foundation over that and he was just saying that you know obviously there's no way to get rid of texture but that just really helps even out the skin when you're doing pictures and stuff I'm not going to use a powder foundation today. I'm just going to stop at the basic powder. So I'm just going to use the Patrick Ta She Statuesque Bronzer. Well, this is not the bronzer. This is the contour, cream contour, and then the powder bronzer. I think this actually might be, I don't know, it's so subtle. It's so subtle. But I guess that's a good thing. Might be the brush I'm using too is not dense enough. This brush seems pretty soft. See, I feel like I can't even see this in person. I mean, it's so, it's that subtle. Let me get, this is like a slanted foundation brush. This is Zorea slanted foundation brush. I'm gonna try this because it might be a little more dense and easier see I'm trying to stay relatively high just to keep the lifted effect honestly I'm not sure <laughs> okay I think I don't know if it's just layering or if it's the brush but I do think I see something more 
now than I did. Take this on the side of my nose. This is actually like a bigger brush than I would normally use for doing this. But it's all good in the hood. So far, the Lisa Eldritch Foundation seems like it is playing nice with this cream product. Well, with the powder and the cream product that I put on top of it. And now I'm going to use the powder bronzer. And that She Statuesque palette. Well, not palette, but. I don't know. Is it still technically a palette? If it's just two products in there? So definitely, okay, so I think the number nine is a little lighter than what I would like prefer, but formula wise, first impressions, I'm definitely buying it when it comes out. And how smart of Lisa to release these products or this product with her lipstick this is so smart of her oh my god because now we're all gonna know whether through reviews or through personal experience we're all gonna know what shade to get and I'm just going to take this bronzer all the way up because I'm just going to go for a natural look today. Natural, no makeup, makeup. I'm going to take my powder brush just make sure I don't have any harsh lines the LYS aim high pressed highlighter powder I'm gonna use this for my eyeshadow So I just use a denser brush on the inner corners. So then if I want to punch that up, I'll just use my finger. To brighten it even more. Hopefully the light is picking it up for you. But if not, it definitely pops like in a picture. Okay, so I don't mind if it gets a little under underneath as well. And then I'll just blend. Any weirdness and use this lighter brush for the highlight it's just so or for the brow bound highlight I'm gonna put 
using that same brush just a little bit right here again that way I don't just pick up like when I do any picture or anything I'm actually gonna use a little of the LYS bronzer in harmony just to darken up the area where we put some of that Patrick Ta bronzer just gives a little more depth All the way down the nose. Just do a little more of that here. Yeah, you can see how it just gives a little more depth and definition than that Patrick Ta. So I got this Grande Cosmetics Peptide Mascara. I did use it once so far and it's very light and natural so since I'm doing the no makeup makeup I'll just stick with this I could have curled but I forgot so excited to get the lipsticks on my lips I don't even know if I'm gonna post this whole thing or not maybe just little clips okay so tell me if you purchased anything from this Lisa Eldridge drop. Have you tried Lisa Eldridge lipsticks before? Everyone that I've watched like just raves about this formula and the colors that I've seen people try on they do look amazing. So I'm I'm really excited to see what it looks like on me so here's I don't know if you can see the difference maybe the lighting isn't the best but can you see I'm not sure um, like I said it's very natural it doesn't seem to be clumpy do you guys put your mascara on with the same hand or do you switch hands? I don't consider myself ambidextrous, but at the same time, I feel like I can't put mascara on very well with my right hand when I'm on my left side. I don't know if that's a thing. Oops, I was like covering myself. I don't know if that's a thing or if that's just my own little quirk. I really like this foundation. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. When is it dropping? <laughs> okay, so I got three lipsticks, three lip pencils. I tried to get three glosses but one of them sold out literally while I was hitting checkout I was so frustrated and flustered when I was checking out because the website was saying that it, it didn't recognize my address like it said there were no postal rates for my address and it was free shipping so I was freaking out I think there were just so many people on the site trying to get stuff and so I think it was petal lip gloss that I wanted but that sold out. So the lipsticks that I got, Velvet Ribbon, Velvet Petal, and Velvet Cinnabar. And then I got the Cinnabar Lip Liner, the Ribbon Lip Liner, and then I got a Fair 
for the lip liner to go with velvet petal because it's a little bit darker so I thought it would give a little depth let me show you and I think I need to be careful because glam girl Chelsea said she broke some of hers I don't know if she opened them to Ooh, so this is the packaging nice like kind of matte with the Lisa logo here this one is oops can you see it velvet petal I don't know if it's gonna show up. Um, I don't even know. I don't even want to swatch it really. I just want to put it on my lips. But I will. Hmm. So that's the color. And then let me see the affair lip liner. So I've heard a couple different people. I I watched the actual Lisa Eldridge video. And I could have swore when I watched it, she said that she made the lip pencils the same color as the lipsticks. So you can see the fair is a little bit darker and I got that on purpose just to add a little depth if I wanted to. Um, I feel like my lips are dry so hopefully this is going to look okay. But where's my mirror? <gasps> Okay, so here it goes. Mm. My lips are dry. So there's the color and then liner now I know now see how oh I love I like how it like punched it up a little bit like it kicked it up a notch I know that typically we put on our lip liner and then our lipstick but when I was watching Lisa's video she said that with darker colors, well with her reds, she puts on the lipstick first and then goes in with the liner to define the shape because she often doesn't like it lip liner first. So that's why I thought I would try it this way. So, I know it's dark outside and this is artificial lighting and not the best, but I really like everything so far. Um, I almost don't even want to take it off, but I do because I want to try the other colors also. Oh look, the grande matches the packaging for Lisa. Anyways, um, okay, which one should I do next? Ooh, I'll do Cinnabar next because this is one of the new colors and I think it's going to be great for fall. Also, I think the other color is a little bit darker, so maybe just taking it off will be easier. I'm going to just use these simple...
makeup remover wipes Michelle Michelle Wong said the recommendation is to use a an oil-based product to remove the lipstick but um, whatever she was using I guess she had these special towelettes and it was working just fine um, I guess those are pricey I shouldn't say how much they were but these seem to be working fine for me so just FYI and this is the again the simple brand my favorite towelettes for removing makeup my lip line, my natural lip line, is just slightly darker. Anyway. So, okay. Next color I'm gonna go in with is Velvet Cinnabar. Here is what it's looking like covering the light. I'm going to swatch it. It actually looks like velvet. Where should I do it? I'll do it over here. It looks like velvet. And then I'm going to do the same thing as far as putting on the lip liner after the lipstick. Actually, maybe I'll try it reverse this time. I'll try it reverse this time. But here's the lip liner swatch. Okay, so I'll do the lip liner first this time. And we'll see. It definitely glides on, just like everyone has described. Did I get it on even? My lips are wonky. Like when I talk, they kind of move differently. So, so that's the liner. Yeah, it doesn't really move. Okay. Mm, oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Wow. Gorgeous. Hmm. What do you guys think? You can see why people were going nuts about this color oh my gosh oh, okay we gotta keep going let's see how the cinnabar comes off it still feels really nice and comfortable oh, goodness gracious I can see why when I was watching Michelle's um, review, she was like, I don't want it to stop. She was like, this was my last color, but I, I wish it was more. Uh, this one is removing nicely also. <laughs> I 
I don't have any more of this foundation color left. So I'm trying to stay within the lines and not remove the foundation that's around my mouth. Ugh. I haven't looked at myself this closely in quite some time. So I see I have an upper lip situation that I need to take care of as well. Eh. Good times. <laughs> okay, now yeah, this liner is a little more stubborn. Oh, press on. Okay, maybe what I should do, because I have that ribbon color, velvet ribbon, and it is also a dark red. Maybe I should try the glosses before we move on to ribbon. I'm gonna ooh, watch the ribbon. Okay, so yeah, this is more like a, um, I think that, I don't know if this is the color I meant to get. I don't know. I thought it would be more of a blue looking red, but then whoop, pencil. Like this color was to die for. So I don't know how I feel about this one just looking at it on my arm, but I want to try the glosses first because it's gonna be easier to take off the glosses. I got a fair and charm. I think charm is the lighter of the two. But one, they might both be light. One just might be more pinky and the other more brown. So let's see. Yes. So, you know, sometimes you just want something light let's go with the brown one first so this one is a fair um it's a nice doe foot applicator mm. I guess depending on your lip size, <laughs> depends on how many dunks you want. I feel like one dunk was okay, it would have been enough, but I want more. So, I went in for another dunk. Mm, it feels really nice on the lips. It really does. I like the packaging. I feel like I'm gonna run through it pretty fast. What do you think? It actually goes really nicely with this. And with this light, no makeup, makeup look. Mm, I like it. Okay. <sighs> Let's see what charm looks like. And I think... Let's see. Actually, I wasn't going to swatch the lip gloss on my arm. But I think I got... Yeah, so I got the first, that first lip liner was a fair, and so this one here. So I'm going to put the gloss next to it. So if I wanted to, I could. 
could even use the lip liner with this gloss just to give it some more definition. Whereas I used it with the pink, oh, I guess I could use it with both glosses, technically, because it's going to give a little more depth to both. But anyways, sometimes it's just fun to use really nice product. You know, you want to get your money's worth, and I think so far, first impressions, I definitely think it's worth it. Um, you know, I've purchased other uh, lower end brands and some have been great some have not been okay this is where I think I would want to use a lip liner because like a color like this my natural lip is darker than <laughs> this color so what ends up happening if I don't wear a lip liner is it looks like it looks like I started to apply lip liner and then forgot to apply the rest. I mean, that's just kind of how it's been my whole life. So let's see what the Affair lip liner looks like with this pink. Or what is it? The technical name is Charm. And this is something I would have wanted to put on beforehand, but next time I'll try that. Okay. I feel like my orange top is throwing it off a little bit. But if I had a different color, it would definitely look good. I like this. Formula wise, it feels wonderful on my lips. It's not sticky, um, but it's very smooth and glides easily. I like it. Last one let's go ahead and try on ribbon i think i already know my favorite out of everything i got is the cinnabar be called electric ribbon. Wow. I think this would be like really pretty for the holidays. That's a wrap. Okay, really. Party. 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 Okay? Is this not holiday glam? Like, you couldn't tell me nothing. No. This is a look, okay? This is a look. You can see the whole thing. This would be 
a look. I might have to style it up for Instagram. I'm not going to do it right now because it's late and I'm tired, but this has been so much fun. Thank you for joining me. Let me know in the comments what you got. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are going to order any Lisa Eldridge. I love it. I'm really happy with my purchase. I'm sure I'll be wearing these colors a lot. Where are we going? <laughs> Aileen, where are we going? Um, okay. Remember, you're never too young or too old to unleash your beauty and explore your style.